Months have passed since the 1st of July 2021, day one of a new EU VAT reform on e-commerce. In a previous video, we had a quick snapshot of the new rules on distance sales of goods in the EU. If you're selling online in Europe, you have certainly seen changes in how VAT applies to cross-border consumer sales with a new one-stop shop, the OSS. Let's put to test your VAT knowledge with five questions. At the end of the video, I will tell the price for those who have answered correctly to all questions. Question number one. You're a German company that has made roughly 5,000 euros of cross-border consumer sales of clothing products in Europe during the year. You receive an order of goods for 300 euros from a consumer base in Finland. The goods are dispatched from Germany. Where does VAT apply on this consignment? Easy answer, Germany. Unless you have opted to apply VAT at destination, you haven't met the EU threshold of 10,000 euros that triggers the application of VAT in the EU country of destination. Question number two. You are a German company that is using the OSS for all your EU cross-border consumer sales. You usually dispatch your products from Germany, but you also use a warehouse base in France. For this reason, you hold the French VAT number besides the German one. A French consumer orders a product and you ship it from Germany. Where do you report this sale? Easy, easy question again. In the OSS, not in the French VAT return, where you will mainly report domestic sales, France to France. Now it's question number three. Let's do some B2B. You're a German company shipping from Germany. A Swiss business customer orders a product with shipment to a business in Belgium. You issue your invoice to a Swiss company. Where does VAT apply? The answer is Germany. This is not an intra-EU B2B sale because the buyer is Swiss. It's not even an expo sale because the goods stay within the EU. So it's a domestic sale in Germany. Question number four. You're a Swiss company. You hold stocks in Germany with Zalando. You hold both a German VT number and are registered with the OSS. A consumer from France buys a product on the marketplace. Where do you report VAT on this sale? This was a tricky question. You don't pay VAT on this sale because the marketplace is deemed to be the seller for VAT purposes on this specific sale. The marketplace will collect, report and pay VAT on the sale. Question number five. You're a German company. You hold stock in Germany with Amazon FBA. You hold both a German VAT number and are registered with the OSS. A business from France buys a product on the marketplace. Where do you report VAT on this sale? This time is different. The seller is EU-based and the buyer is an EU-based business too. So as long as the buyer holds the VAT number listed with the EUVS database, you will zero rate this sale in your German VAT return. Have you answered correctly to all these questions? Wonderful, you are a VAT geek. Please write me in private. As a prize, you will receive a smile from yours truly. Ciao, ciao.